Hey guys, and welcome to another video. This time we're going over how to find and collect all nine of the secret prisms for the special survivor skins. Let's get right into it. The first prism is for Bandit, and it can be found on the tutorial stage. If you don't know how to replay the tutorial, you can do so by opening up your settings and going over to controls, then clicking on play tutorial. Once you do so, you will want to go to the left of the stage and climb down this vine, then go to the right and collect the prism. The second prism is the prism for Commando. This prism can be found on the third variant of the Desolate Forest stage. Once you're on the correct variant, you just have to go to the top left of the stage, find this hidden vine and climb all the way down, and it will be sitting there waiting for you to collect. The third prism is the prism for Artificer, which can be found on the third variant of the Dried Lake stage. What you have to do to get this prism is go as far left as you can and you will also need as many movement items as you can get. Once you reach the left side of the stage you should see these three geysers. You just need to bounce on them up to the top of the stage. Once you make it across you'll need to fall down to the bottom. Now you have to go through this little underground maze. Be careful though because there are some pits you can fall down and you'll have to start from the beginning if you fall into them. Just follow the exact path I take and you will be able to grab the prism. The fourth prism is the prism for Loader, which can be found on the second variant of the Sky Meadow stage. To get to it, you will once again need as many movement items as you can get. I personally recommend using the Artifacts of Command and Sacrifice if you have them unlocked. Once you have the correct variant of the stage, you will do the same steps of getting to the Artifact of Spite, break the bit of terrain in the ground, drop down, do the platforming puzzle, but then you're going to get to the edge of the artifact platform, jump off and up into this little room, which will be holding the prism. The fifth prism is the prism for Drifter, which can be found on the second variant of the Ancient Valley stage. What you're going to do is go to the right side of the stage and climb up just underneath the long bridge at the top and jump off the edge and land on a platform down below, which will have the prism. The sixth prism is one of the two prisms for Acrid, and it's also on the second variant of the Ancient Valley stage, meaning you can get the Drifter and this Acrid prism back to back. Now how you get to this prism is you go all the way to the top left of the stage, use this geyser to get onto the very top of the stage, and right where this background decoration is, you're going to hold whatever button you use to go up on ropes is. W, the up arrow, etc. And that should teleport you to Boar Beach, which is the secret stage and where our prism is located. And then you're going to go to the left and climb down this vine. And once again, we have a little underground platform puzzle to complete. But once you do, you will be able to collect the prism. The seventh prism is the prism for Huntress, which can be found on the second variant of the Magma Barracks stage. You'll want to go to the right of the stage, and you'll know it's the right variant of the stage if you see this Lemurian statue underneath the lava. Now start to go down the pathway towards the Dire Seeker boss. Start holding your down button, and you'll start climbing down a secret rope that will take you to the prism. The eighth prism is the second prism for Acrid, which can be found on the final stage. What you need to do to get this prism is go down to the cabin and go outside from the damaged portion of the wall and use some movement items or abilities to get up to this little vent area and go to the right and collect the prism. The ninth and final prism is for the mercenary and it is also on the final stage. Much like getting to the acrid prism, you're going to go to the cabin then go outside, but this time you're going to jump off the edge and land in this little cave area where you'll find these golems just chilling. You're just going to go past them into where the cave area opens up and you're going to use some movement items or abilities to jump through the cave and land on this little platform and collect the prism. And that is how you can collect all nine of the secret prisms in Risk of Rain Returns. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and most of the footage in this video was recorded live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash 109 Stop by if you want to catch some live Risk of Rain Returns content. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.